Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper How old are you? 26 You know what you're signing up for? Yes, sir What you signing up for? If you need my car, you can get it at any time or I'll get you a rental car Do you agree? Yes, sir Okay, and most people have probably already seen this video, this TikTok, which I saw, and it made me sick. And I know that, like he said, the angry biracial, people are going to say that this is a joke. It's a parody, and it's comedy, and they're going to hide behind comedy. A lot of people say a lot of sick stuff, and they hide behind being comedic. Nothing about this is funny. Um, indenture servitude is not funny. Usury is not funny. Um, taking advantage of an obviously young girl is not funny. I don't know if he thought that this made him look like the man or whatever. It just makes him look pathetic. It looks like he can't be a provider. He doesn't look like a real man. And we're going to go with this is real because to be honest, if you have consumed any man of spirit or red pill talking points, this is exactly what they want. They want to ride or die. They want someone who is going to willingly get on their knee, lay down frontward so they can wipe their feet on their back now she said that she would let him use her car meaning he doesn't have a car or she will get him a rental that is so weak and pathetic if she was actually a good woman she would have told him the optics of this if they're doing this as a joke regardless of it being a joke regardless of people saying it's a joke he still looks weak and pathetic what else if you got a girl you want to bring to my place, I'll go get a hotel room or I'll get you a hotel room. Do you agree? Yes, sir. The whole yes, sir, it's the equivalent of yes, a master. That, that's what he's doing to her. This is insane. And just as a collective of black people, we wonder why we're in the position that we are when we have stuff like this going on. Like, just thinking about it. Even as a skit or a joke, it's not funny. Like, who sees the humor in this? It's demeaning. And what's interesting to me is this is a dark-skinned black woman. Pretty girl. Going along with this or in some type of reverse get-out situation. And she said if he wants to hook up with another girl in her house so he doesn't even have a place to lay his head or anything, she would get a hotel room for him or she would go sleep in a hotel room while he is got somebody in the bed, in her bed. Can somebody say STD or AIDS or HIV? It's disgusting. What else? I'm supposed to pay two bills of yours every four months. Do you agree? Yes, sir. And then she is supposed to pay two bills of his every four months. He doesn't, if that's her place, her car, she would be paying the car note. If the car is not paid off, she's paying rent. She's paying lights, water, everything of that. What two bills could he have? His food and his phone bill or necessities and his phone bill, his Jordan and his phone, which she'll be, yeah, she'll be buying the Jordan. She'll be buying the phone and paying the bill I've seen it I've seen girls get their refund for their college tuition you know they had money left over I have seen women you know go get your cigarettes go get your beer I remember being 18 first job yes yeah, some woman <laughs> telling this grown man with gray hair that you know she she had the purse she had the money and she was going to pay for it that's what's triggering because elements of this is true and it's real. What else? I know you have a lady and I will always respect her. Do you agree? Yes, sir. I know you have a lady and I'll respect her. Polygyny, polygamy. And I swear people say though, 
Oh my goodness, the 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 Bible isn't real. If it's not, and and you see what happened to people in there, and you see all the buffoonery and the disgusting behavior in there, who can deny that it's black people? He has another woman, and she will respect her, and she agrees to all of this to have a piece of man. He's not even a man, though. Because what kind of man comes up with a skit like this? If he's a real man, he wouldn't even want to put her out like that or put her image out there like that or have her looking stupid and dumb on social media for the world to see. Say it again. Yes, sir. What else? When I get my taxes, I'll give you 20%. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Of course, because she's the only one working, she's the one paying the bills. So, of course, she would give 20% of her taxes because what is he doing? Absolutely nothing. Being a kept Mitch. What else? If you want to talk to one of my friends or a family member, it's okay. Do you agree? Yes, sir. That is disgusting. If you want to talk to a friend or a family member... And, and then wonder why women say, what, what the what is the use? What is the use? The bar is not in hell. The bar is imaginary. There, there was never a bar. There was never a level where this imaginary bar was to move. It was never there. So one of my homies coming to town right now. We're showing a good time. Most definitely. Okay. Start off cash on my girl. Feet done. Now, what's troubling to me about that statement, um, if my friends are in town, will you show them a good time? Is he saying that she's going to cook clean and do things for the friends, too? Or is he talking about prostituting her out to his friend? Either one is disgusting. What the what in the hell is wrong with people? And I won't even say this is for clicks and views because who wants to sit here and click and view some effery like this? And then cash app his girlfriend so she can go get a pedicure. Just living up to the foolish woman trope. I was, I had this little conversation about, you know, black people being cursed. It's apparent. It's apparent because generation after generation, you have these dust buckets who find a new low that has never been discovered before. And they do this to the women. And then the women will do anything to have a piece of man and will do anything, even degrade herself and her image and black women's image doesn't care just as long as she can say, I have a man that makes her worthy or worth something. Not even caring about black people's image as stigmatized as we are. And you want to put this out in this day and age while people are asking other people that are non-black to treat us with respect and this is what they are supposed to respect. Right. Yes, sir. You gonna get a good one. Give you a round for a minute. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, girl. Say it like you mean it, huh? There you go. And the saddest thing that I have ever witnessed and been a party to is a woman who is paying for a dude. Like, there's no more shame. There's no more embarrassment. No standards. No manners. Nothing. Screaming about patriarchy. Screaming about women submitting. To what exactly? To what? This is every woman's dream, huh? This is every father's dream. I can't even call him a son-in-law because he will not marry her. He'll just be, make her his side chick. 
or flavor of the month. I'm really hoping this was a skit. Even if it was a skit, it's disgusting. Because a lot of times art is reflection of reality. I had to put Sister Harriet Tubman in the back here because Harriet Tubman would have unalived that motherfucker. She said, I freed a thousand slaves. And she would have freed a thousand more if only they knew they were slaves. Modern black men don't want black wives. They want slaves. This shit ain't nothing but pimping. He's having her call him yes sir. But to him that translates to yes master. This is what they want. They want to enslave their own women on a plantation. They want to be able to do to black women what white men have been doing to black women. In a quest to be like their white daddies. They want to oppress their own women. Skit or not, that shit was disgusting and degrading. And it speaks volumes to the average dusty mindset. It shows that these men rather pimp, exploit, and traffic their own women than marry them, love them, protect them, and build communities with them. These are the same men that call themselves kings. These are the same men that sisters like Harriet Tubman laid her life down for. The same men that Malcolm X got unalived for. And I guarantee you all those black heroes I just named will look at today's men and see nothing but white slave masters in blackface. Couldn't have said it any better. And she's 26 years old. You know, a girl like this would be flattered if an older man was talking to her. But this is an example of exploitation and how easy it could be to exploit young women. That's why they would go after them younger and younger. And also this is very dangerous. I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.